light. So here's a Levinson's retinol. Okay, we need a Levinson's retinol to make rhodopsin. Rhodopsin gets hit by light. It turns back into all trans retinol because remember, 11 cis retinol has a cis bond in it. it turns back into all trans retinol and opsin, which is what gets stuck to 11 cis retinol to make rhodopsin. The all trans retinol goes back across the membrane so that it can be recycled. We can also take in new all trans retinol. Then we turn it into all trans retinyl esters, and if you're in an esterified form, you're in a storage form, right? And then, when we're ready for it, we convert it to 11 cis retinol, or we can esterify that form, 11 cis retinyl ester, so that we have one less step to do. Then, when we're ready for that, when the signal is upregulated, right, we convert it to 11 cis retinal and, and draw it over. So the reason that we're going to learn this pathway, and I've detailed it again later, I'm just giving you the preview, is because it's a good example of how we package, store, transport, unpackage for later. It's just kind of half a view of before, but half of a really specific example of the way that we move fat-soluble things around. Okay. And you can see, see more detail later. Okay, regulation of cell proliferation and differentiation by retinoic acids. So, retinoic acids can signal cells of cell, can signal cells of differentiation. Granulocytes from HG, HL60 cells. So, there's a little blurb in the book about this, talking about activated vitamin D3, which is 125 OH2 D3, or 125 